Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna try to recreate a, a popular Discord bot called Anti Ghost Ping Bot. So it basically detects um, the deleted ping messages. All credits to um, Lewis Trio. Um, I'm tr gonna try to recreate this Anti Ghost Ping because it has like it's a pretty big bot because it has like 3.2 thousand servers. Um, but it shouldn't be that hard to create. So in, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a uh, bot something like this. Okay, so we're going to use uh, my npm package, my CLI, uh, so we can generate a Discord bot really quickly. Just npm i dash g recon lx, and then you can um, use this. Yeah. So we're going to start by creating a new application, and we're going to name this um, Ghost Thing Detector. Uh, it's gonna be YouTube tutorials. Okay. Then um, I'm not gonna add an image. I mean, I'm not gonna add a profile picture for the bot. So we're gonna use the default profile picture. Um, and I'm gonna say, okay, we're just gonna leave it here. Okay. So um, I'm gonna create a new file called Ghost Ping. What just happened? Ghost ping this uh, detector detector. All right, so it's over here. Then just I'm just gonna open this with Visual Studio Code. So open with code, and there isn't any files because um I haven't initiated anything yet. So just open terminal, and I'm gonna run recon lx. Okay, and I'm gonna generate a new project. So the bot token, uh, the bot token is gonna be um, this. I'm just copy, paste it in. Bot prefix. I'm gonna make it exclamation mark. So yes, yeah, generated all the project files. So um, we're gonna create an event. So we got X, um, message. Let's do a recon X. Then we're gonna create an event. It's gonna be a guild event, a message event, and then it's gonna be ping. I'm gonna name it ping, and we're gonna create another one. Oh, uh, we can type this manually, but um, this is a little faster, I think. Message, and it's gonna be a, a message delete event. So I'm gonna say ping two. All right. So we have two events now. Um, ping and ping2, we're just gonna take this code over here. We're just gonna cut this and we can just delete this file. And then we can go ping.js and we'll paste it under here. Okay, so this is the message event and this is the message delete event. So with this one, I'm not gonna connect it to any database because um, it takes up time and many errors might occur but um, we're gonna use a maps or I should say um, this got the JS collection class so we're gonna start by doing um, let me see we're gonna require the uh, let's boot the bot up so I can show you that it's actually working so let's just run node dot. Oh, I forgot to install dependencies. Just run npm install to install dependencies. It's all this in package.json. So let's just wait for it to install. So you should see a node modules folder pop up and also a lot JSON. Okay, so let's try starting this bot up. Okay, so the bot is up. And I'm gonna invite it to my server. So click on OAuth. Um, let's just give it, click on bot and give any permissions you want. In my case, we're gonna put administrator because it covers all the permissions. So I'm just gonna invite it real quick. Add it to YouTube tutorials. Oh, captures create car 
cars, 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 cars. Is this a car? I'm not sure. Okay. This. Okay, nice trains. Train, train, train. Okay, it works now. Okay, so I've invited the bot to the server. So if I click on here, the bot should be online. As you can see here. Okay, so I'm just showing you that the bot can actually go online. So now let's start writing the code for this. Okay, so we're gonna require a message embed and also the collection. So cons because require discord.js. So in here it's gonna be collection and also message embed. Message embed. Okay. And then we're gonna say const ping equals new collection. Okay. So now in this message event, I'm just gonna delete this. And we're gonna start with checking where there's mentions. If there's no mentions, we're just gonna ignore it. Mentions.numbers.first turn. Okay. Then we're gonna check if it's um the author's ID message dot mention dot members dot first dot ID is equals to message the author the ID we're gonna return so if they ping themselves and um it's get it get deleted um it's not gonna trigger the bot so we're gonna define a time time equals to five thousand so basically this in MS one second is 1000 milliseconds so in this case it's going to be five seconds um pings dot set we're going to set pinger i mean ping and then we're going to set the message comment um give me a sec okay message dot mentions dot members dot first the id so we're gonna set the id and also um the date but now we're gonna use timestamps plus time uh time all right so uh we're gonna set a timer after this to delete the data after the time set timeout bottom here will be time and in here we're gonna do um pings dot delete um ping message dot mentions dot members dot first dot id so it's basically the same and then once it's deleted i'm just gonna console log deleted data just to see when it's the data gets deleted so in message delete event we're going to do the same thing if there's no mentions we're going to return so i'm just going to copy this okay then um console.log um there is a mention okay it is not necessary it's just going to log um there, whether there's mentions or not okay so if Pings the has um, ping message the mentions the members the first the ID um, then we're gonna send a message so message the channel the send new message embed um, set title it will be ping detected, so ping detect. The let me just do ghost ping detected. Ghost ping detected. If I can spell correctly, um, and then we're gonna add a field, and then we're gonna say um author of the message is gonna be message the author, and we're gonna use inline so true, and then the content that field content um 
message the odd uh, message the content and then true and then set color very random and set timestamp okay so we set timestamp so basically um this should be it for the bot it's actually not that complicated so let's just see where it works so let's just boot the bot up so we're gonna this is the bot that we're gonna clone um it's gonna function somewhat similar to that bot maybe so if i ping my outcome okay it's gonna set the data if i delete it and it's gonna say ghost ping detected author is this content okay so if i do recon test and then type uh, some random stuff and if i delete it it's going to say author recon and the content is um, the content basically so you can edit this embed however you want so let's say um, so what I mean by this time um, over here is how much time before um, the data get deleted so if I mention my outcome and I wait for five seconds so one two three four five and I delete the data it wouldn't send the ghost being detected so yeah you can manipulate this file however you want um, if you have any errors or you need any help with anything that you don't understand over here feel free to join the support server links will be in the description other than that have a nice day see you again on the next video bye